they may be the first day of school for many students, but for bus drivers, the preparation uh, that goes into the school district or school year rather has been underway for quite a while. Seven Action News reporter Matthew Smith is live at Sterling Heights for us this morning. And Matt, how much practice goes into the first day? Well, you know, you'd be surprised. You see these buses go down the road and they look nice, new, shiny. They got all their nice washes. They look great, right? Uh, but it's not just the bus that matters when it comes to bus drivers and getting your kids from point A to point B. There's constructions, there's hiccups with where the bus routes are actually going to be going. And of course, they also have to do a whole lot of training, make sure they're ready for things like CPR. Bottom line, there's plenty going into this. So this is our antifreeze, we can see that that's right to the top. Windshield washer fluid, which you can see is right up to the top. A little bit of a visual inspection just to make sure everything looks to be. That's Dan Beans checking the oil, the antifreeze, all the levels on his school bus. The former Ford employee turned bus driver has been doing this for more than 10 years. That said, each year is a little different. We caught up with him last week, but preps had already been underway. Bus drivers have to become experts on their rigs, doing regular maintenance checks and a week's worth of training on everything from first aid to new rules for district employees. And when you see a school bus, you may think routine, but for drivers, that takes dozens of runs to time everything out. We uh, practice our routes after we get them and uh, make sure we know where the construction is and where the other traffic issues might be. There's been a huge amount of construction, as you know, the last year or two that we've had to really uh, work at, but we, we've got it. We know what we're doing. We're professionals, and uh, that little bit of practice definitely pays off. For instance, Utica Community Schools has 170 bus drivers, more than 200 buses. So that's just one bus driver. Imagine all of them having to do it. I mean, you can see right here the third biggest or the biggest public uh, school bus area in the entire state of Michigan. They've got a lot of work underway, but it's not just the school bus drivers. Coming up in the next half hour, we're going to talk about all the work that's been going in for teachers. And oh, by the way, other districts are dealing with this too, and they have some unique ways over at Novi that they got ready for the school year this year. We'll take a look at that as well. That's coming up at 6 o'clock. For now, we're live in Sterling Heights. I'm Matthew Smith, 7 Action News. You know, it takes a lot to get ready for the first day of school, and we salute all of the parents and the teachers and administrators for doing what they can. That's right. Those crossing guards out there. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, this morning we want to know what do you think is the most stressful